Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a date night giveaway. She's going on the way, okay? Yeah, she goes on dates a lot, whatever. Me and my man's like to go out. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see me get ready, do this entire kind of look and my hair, I haven't done my hair like this in so long, then please keep watching. So I just got out of the shower and I realized I look crazy because I had on mascara and I didn't realize. I don't want to look crazy. Hold on. Let me go grab a makeup bag. I was going to do my hair first, but I feel like I should do my makeup first and then I'll do my hair since it's going to involve like gel and stuff. I could totally do a top knot bun. We're going to have to see. Start off by prepping the skin. We want this to be a long wearing makeup look, all of the above. Um, I'm gonna start off with some SPF. I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica Prisma Protect. This one has SPF 30. I really like this one. Oh, do you guys see these big gigantic pimples on my skin? Hormonal acne. My worst enemy causes all of my acne scars. She's the reason, so I blame her. I organized like all my makeup today again, and I organized my vanity. Let's hope it stays this way after I'm finished getting ready. So next, I'm going to go into my First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Collagen Cream, and I'm going to just apply that everywhere as well. Skin prep is key, guys. Next, I'm going to go into my Smashbox Vitamin glow primer with vitamins b c and e i love this primer especially like in the summertime i don't know it just gives my skin a healthy glow and it preps my skin really well actually um for my makeup i literally got this shirt like yesterday i went to a marshall's and they had this shirt and i think it's just so cute it, like buttons up in the back it's cute. I mean, I think I'm wearing it the correct way because the tag is in the back where the buttons are. So we're going to pretend like I'm wearing it correctly, even though I'm pretty sure that I am. But I mean, there's a chance that I'm not. I think I am. So for brows, as per usual, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And I'm going to take my favorite eyebrow brush, which is the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow brush or duo eyebrow brush, the clear one. I love it. I just love the clear one because of how pretty it is. You can use the black one, the clear one. It's the same thing. Like this combination, like, look at that brow. It's so good. Look at that. Okay, the brows are looking good today, so maybe it's going to be a good makeup day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Today, I'm going to prep my eyes using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one is in Bisque. This one has really been my girl lately. I even use it on the skin, and honestly, these concealers, they do the trick. You can use them for literally anything, and they do what they need to do. Just taking my beauty blender and blending out that concealer. Literally not even gonna go on my date till seven and it's like 5.23, but you know what? I like to be ready, I don't like to rush. I like to relax before things and I wanna take my time. I'm tired today. I wanna just take my time, watch my YouTube. I'm sure you hear it in the back, but we're gonna disregard that okay so i don't know what i want to do for the eyes i feel like i want to do something really just natural neutral i don't need to do anything crazy um so i think i want to go into my dominique cosmetics the latte palette love this palette such a cool everyday palette and you can add in pops of color if you want i'm gonna start off with the shade caramel which is this one and i'm gonna be applying that all into my crease gonna take the shade pumpkin spice on the end and add some orange into the crease to make it just a really really warm eye look 
Yeah, I think this even goes with the shirt too. I love this top, honestly. I think it's so cute. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm spending money today. Anyways, I'm gonna go into the shade Mocha, which is the deep brown of the palette, and I'm gonna take that onto the outer corner. I want to make the outer corner a bit deeper, so I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Jen Atkin palette. This one is in the, I think this one is the medium to deep. Um, I believe so. And I'm going to take just their dark brown right here, and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner. I'm also going to take that black and mix it in just to deepen it a bit. I don't want it to be completely black but i just want to mix the black and the brown to create the deepness that i want at the outer corner next i'm going to take my mac soft ochre paint pot and i'm going to take this wet and wild brush it's just a small flat brush and i'm going to use that to carve out my eyes so i want to carve out like the inner corners basically so can you all see yeah. This brush is so good. It's my first time using it and I really like it, especially for what I'm doing. And guess where I got it from? Dollar Tree. I love Wet n Wild brushes and I've gotten them from there before. So when I saw them there, the last time I went, I was like, yeah, got to get them. I don't know, now my boyfriend didn't change. My I told him 6.30 because he kept saying 7. So I'm like, okay, like, I'll say 6.30. He won't agree, whatever, I'm filming. He's talking about 6.30 is fine. I've got to hurry up. It's only 5.29, but now I have to hurry up. I'm gonna take another brush that I got from Dollar Tree, the same Wet n Wild, but it's like a bigger, fluffier brush. And I'm gonna go back into that Elf Jen Atkin palette and take that first shade, which is like a nice nude, and I'm gonna use that to set this. Um, I really have been doing this look a lot. I just think it's such a nice, subtle eyeshadow look, and it looks like you kind of did a lot, um, but you didn't do too, too much. And it's just pretty. I don't know. I love it. I love this eye look and I love this palette because I can literally create this look just with this palette alone. I'm gonna be very sad once I finally run out of this. I'm gonna blend out the outer corners with that same brush that we used to add the dark browns to the blacks. I just want to make sure that the cream shade is not just kind of thrown on my eye. I want to have a nice transition between the two. I'm going to go into some wing liner, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. liquid liner. This is in Jet Black, and I'm just going to line the eyes. Okay, like so. I love this eye look. I just think it's so pretty and simple. Next, we're going to move on to the face. So first, I'm going to just take some of my Mary Kay Satin Lips lip balm, and I'm going to put that on my lips to kind of prep them. And then I'm going to go into my, was that even a sentence? And then I'm going to go into my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Holy grail. Uh, this one is in the shade 06 Sand Beige. I've been really loving this foundation. I didn't know that I was going to love it when I picked it up. But I literally forgot it when I went on like a little day trip. And I bought a whole other one because i was that distraught so i mean that goes to show how much i like it the fact that like i just feel like my forehead looks so much bigger after i took out the frontal i'm like there's so much more room on my forehead for makeup now like 
I didn't have this much room like a week ago, but I love this foundation. It gives me full coverage, but I feel like my skin just looks so natural and it allows me to really build um, this look. And what I mean is that like, if I want like full coverage glam, I can get that from this. But if I want something that's simple, soft every day, I can also get that. So I really do love this foundation i'm gonna go into my elf um cream contour the putty bronzer this one is in bronze spell and i'm gonna go in with their complexion duo brush use the smaller edge and add the bronzer into the skin just kind of applying it to where i want and then i'm gonna blend it out i'm gonna use like the butt of my beauty sponge to blend it out because I feel like it really like gets it into the skin like so. I also like how with this product you can really build if you want just a natural kind of like contour you can do that but then if you want like a chiseled oh my god you can really build with it too so I appreciate that about this product to be honest I'm gonna use that LA Girl Pro Concealer today and Bisque to be my highlight because I wanna see. I've used it before, but I just wanna remind myself how it's gonna look, so. I'm gonna take that Complexion Duo Brush and I'm gonna blend out this one over here to chisel out the contour. And I'm gonna take that same beauty sponge, but on the opposite end, and I'm just gonna blend everything together. Hey, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This one is in light medium 20. I haven't used this in a while that's why I wanted to go into it. I'm going to use my e.l.f. 105 brush to apply that everywhere where I highlight it but I love this powder. It's so good. I just started really using the Derma Blend one so that's why I stopped this one but this one's so good too. I'm using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to wipe away excess powder and to bring some warmth back into the skin. My face looks yellow, that's awesome. Anyways, we're gonna fix it. Um, but I also like to use this to set the rest of the skin. But now I've been using the Fenty Beauty one, which I have mixed feelings about, I don't know. But I've been using it because I have it. I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer in Tawny Mommy. And I'm going to use that to bronze up the skin because Lord knows I need it after all that powder I just applied. My perfect shade. I'm just so happy with it. I'm going to be ordering their new formula of it soon. I mean, once I run out, I just hope I still like it. I mean, I'm sure I will, but I don't know. I, I love the original formula of the cream bronzers. I guess the one thing was that I wasn't vegan, I think, or something, but we'll try it out. I'm going to do a comparison video, though, to the old formula and then to the new, so stay tuned for that because I really do wonder if it's really gonna make a difference in how it applies onto the skin or even like the color and everything, you know? Like, is it really gonna be a big difference? Like, I don't know. Gonna take my big fluffy brush and kind of just blend everything. I'm gonna set the skin using my e.l.f. Uh, Microfine Setting Mist. I love this one. I love the mist of it too onto the skin. I really like it. I'm gonna go into my makeup by Mario Blush in shade Wild Berry. Ah, oh, love this shade. And I'm gonna just take it on this Morphe X Shotgun Hill JH07, which I really like the blush. I mean, I think it's a blush brush, so. But. Not for 
I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mo Money and Hustle Baby. Mean Money, Mean Money. I was trying to remember it. I don't know how I can't remember it. I wear it every day. I'm going into Hustle Baby and I'm highlighting because look at that. I look sun kissed. I look all of the things. I take my big fluffy brush once again and blend. I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. setting list and set. I'm going to my Urban Decay Lash Perversion Mascara. I think I'm gonna go in to my e.l.f. It's their like liquid shadow. This one is in Flirty Birdie and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corners. I just think it adds such a pretty shimmer to the eyes. Basically be like taking off the chapstick, whatever it was, set on lips. Today I'm going into my ColourPop lip liner in shade Pitch. My e.l.f. camel concealer, I use like one of them that's really empty and I uh, I use my my highlight shade, so medium sand, and I apply that to the center because it gives me like the perfect, I think, natural ombre. I'm going to go into KKW Nude 1 lipstick and apply that. Oh, there we go. I needed that pink. Okay. Those are going in my purse tonight. And then I'm going to go into my ColourPop um, Luxe Lip Gloss in shade Electric. Boom, boom. I'm going to set my face one more time with the e.l.f. Micro Fine Setting Mix. Going to let the skin dry for a second, and then we're going to move on to the hair. All right, so now it's time for the hair. I'm nervous about this. I haven't done my hair like slip down in a while and I don't know if I want to leave it out I don't know how that would look with it like with this like like outfit like I don't know let me see how it would look I just wanted to go for like a nice sleek look so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into my curls blue berry bliss leave-in conditioner and apply that all over A wide tooth comb and I'm gonna kind of comb through a bit so that the leave-in is everywhere I wish I could style my hair like this and it kind of just dries but I don't like it. I'm gonna use this flat brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna like flatten everything I'm gonna go into my gel. So my gel is gonna be the got to be glued um, styling spiking glue, which is water resistant. I love using Eco Styler too, and then I would like go in with this on top. But I don't have Eco Styler right now, so I'm gonna use my got to be. But got to be got to be just ensures like that your hair is not going to move literally. Ever since I took out my sewing, I've been wanting to do a slick back look so bad, but I haven't because I decided to wear my hair out. But here I am slicking her back. Okay, so I'm going to take a regular hair tie. I have three of them on my wrist. That's a bit excessive. Okay, and... Once I think or feel that the hair is pretty slick, I'm gonna take one and just start tying it and I'm gonna tie it into a small bun. And I just think it looks so good with this top. I don't know, the way like the, the collar is and everything, I feel like this hairstyle suits it best. I think I want to have a little bit of curls on the sides by my ears, so I'm gonna just take some out of my ponytail. And then kind of style them. 
like so. I'm gonna take a little bit of the leave in and use that as like the styler, but very little, like a little dot. And then I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna use the opposite end of my edge brush to make sure that those like brush up nicely. I switched over to my phone, but no worries. Um, so yeah, that is what the hair is looking like. The pimples that I have on my face are just not a welcome whatsoever. Like this, this has ruined the entire look for me, but we're not gonna, we're gonna ignore them and not talk about them so much because we're giving them the spotlight. to my Marc Jacobs eyeliner um this one is like a white and I'm gonna add that to my waterline so that is pretty much it for the makeup something just really like naturally glam I'm gonna go into my Tory Burch perfume this one is in oh I don't know but it's this blue one it smells so good and I feel like it smells so classy All right, that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy. That is it for this get ready with me. I'm wearing pink pants. I should show, I'm gonna somehow show you guys my outfit. I don't know, but I'll put that here. And now you've seen the full look. Oh my God, wait, earrings, hello. Like, y'all almost let me forget my earrings. Like, we can't, we can't do that. So let me go pick out some earrings. I don't know what I wanna do for earrings, but let me go pick it out. I'll be right back. Thinking about these flowers. But I feel like that's like not fully matching the look. I made a decision. I think gold is gonna be for the win. So these are from Lily Pulitzer. I wear these like all the time, I feel like, but they're just the best earrings. And I'm crazy if I don't wear hoops today because my hair is down, like, or my hair is like slicked back. Like my hoops are gonna stand out. All right, that is it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.